They say that you can see the face of the world on the streets of Los Angeles. When I became mayor, made me want to focus on making sure that we saw that diversity as a strength and that we figure out a way to fully integrate all people living in Los Angeles into the full economic, social, and political life of the city. Los Angeles today is leading one of the great civil rights struggles of our time. When I think about Selma, 1965, and what a defining moment that was for the integration of African Americans, or Delano in that same year when Cesar Chavez and Dolores Huerta started the farm workers movement. In 2004 in Massachusetts when marriage equality started to advance, I think 2015 Los Angeles is that same place in that same kind of year. We have 550,000 people without legal status that live in Los Angeles County. The reason why it's so concentrated in Los Angeles, which has the largest population in the country of folks without documentation, is we've been this symbol. People will come fleeing civil wars, economic degradation, other issues, and as that symbol of freedom, as that symbol of new opportunities, uh, unfortunately too many of those folks that make it hit a wall. When you think about that many people who are working in the shadows and how much economic opportunity we're losing, how much educational advancement, how much political engagement we leave on the table. This becomes a nonpartisan, bipartisan, American issue we have to solve. So we set up an Office of Immigrant Affairs to start building up a program to better serve immigrants in City Hall. We've deputized all of our city personnel to be essentially enablers of the pathway towards citizenship. We brought a group of mayors together around the country to help immigrants throughout America. We have fought to stand up for uh, the president's executive action on immigration. It will give a legal status to, in my county, um, 550,000 people. In order to succeed, in order to be truly fluent in the economy of the future, in the kind of soft power of culture, you have to be able to navigate those borders which are kind of a second instinct to us. Over 39 countries have their largest populations outside their home country in the city of Los Angeles. Over 220 languages spoken, over 115 countries of origin. Now I think we've deepened that and hopefully become an example of how we bring folks across cultures together to build a new city. I'm Eric Garcetti and I'm SEPA class of 1993.